Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is an author, speaker, and proud father. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Hello, ladies. Welcome to my spot. Men can't read your minds. Ladies, 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 look. I know some of y'all, y'all be doing stuff and expecting a man to read your mind and stuff. I've been, I've dealt with so many young ladies and even some older ones and stuff. They doing stuff and say, why come you couldn't figure it out? How come you couldn't do this? Now, look, I, I don't have any problems admitting. I can probably read women better than most men. Oh, I can read y'all well. If you stand in front of me, I don't care what you're saying. I can tell... I can pretty much tell if, uh, let's just say you're being less than honest, because I can I can read little stuff. But uh, I'm also 56, and that took me a lot of time. And you know, just being around and growing up around a lot of women and volatile ass women, so you know, I had to learn. But even then, even then, as well as I can, I'm not a hundred percent at it. So. If you talk, if I'm saying I can read women better than most men, okay. And I'm saying, no, I can't read y'all 100%, maybe about a good 70%. Oh, well, think about the rest of the men out here. They'd be good if they can read you 40%. Ladies, one thing y'all do, because I know it's y'all nature to, y'all can talk, talk, talk. That's one thing, which I find interesting. But then when it's a real issue or something, that talk, 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 y'all might talk about the issue or talk around it or be indirect. Look, ladies, when you're dealing with a man, don't assume he knows what's up. Don't assume he knows what to do, even if he can read you real well generally. Like I said, you know, somebody like me, maybe 70%. Even a guy really, really good at better than me, 80%. But there's always that 20%, because I know y'all keep some stuff to yourselves. And when you're dealing with a man, and it's a serious situation, y'all need to be straight up. Y'all need to com- use that communication, those 30,000 words y'all use a day. Those 30,000 words y'all use a day that, you know, you're talking with your girlfriends, your buddies, whoever with. That man that you're trying to be in a relationship with, oh, yeah, you need to use some uh, those words directly with him. Don't talk around something. Don't talk around something. Don't hint to him. You got an issue, say, look, baby, uh, we let's sit down. We got to seriously talk. And I'm going to tell you what. I know some ladies are uh, scared of a man's reaction. I'll put it like this. A real man is going to appreciate it. Notice I said a real man, because you know on this channel, I don't, I don't encourage y'all to get with Dusties. I tell y'all, get with solid men. Not players, not like, I don't even use the term high value man. I use the term solid man, like a real man. Like, he's, you know what, he got great character. And I'm going to stick with that. I'm telling y'all how to get with them. And one of the things you got to do, just be straight up with that dude. Just be straight up. Even if it's a situation where, you know what, if you having problems sexually, because I know that can be a deep one, you know what, sit him down and say, look, baby, I'm not really being satisfied. Like, I'll give you a story with that. I knew this dude, and this dude was a serious player. Like, I, he, he the women confirmed this. And I saw, and I was in a position to see how women interacted with him. He told me one time, a woman just told him straight up, you know what, he didn't, he didn't satisfy and he didn't get mad. He didn't get mad at all. He appreciated her honesty, and he said when they would hook up, this a player now. He could easily drop the guy with another woman. He could easily. But when he would get with her, though, he said, yeah, Ron, when I know I'm about to get with her, I don't mess with anybody else for a week, and, you know, beforehand. I work out. I do all this stuff. Because <laughs> he appreciated it. See, a real man. Now, somebody might say, well, he a player. How are you a real man? No, he was real authentic. He's authentic. And part that was part of the reason he got so much attention because he was real with women and they were real with him. But you got to ask yourself, it, but the thing is, a real man, you straight up with him, he's, he'll appreciate it. Even if you straight up like, well, you know what, I ain't feeling this, I need to move on. 
you know what? He's going to be like, okay, I respect your honesty. You know? Now, some lesser man, which really I shouldn't mess with. Oh, he ain't going to handle it. But you know what? Forget that noise. You want to mess with the best out there, the best as far as character and everything. And let me say something uh, real quick about that. I know a lot of women still want that man with a little bit of money or something. Um, A man with character will always work hard because that's the nature of a man to be busy to make money. He Part of him is going to be a hunter. Anyway, so you don't have to worry about him making money. Maybe at best a question of how much money, but he's going to work. If he got to work three jobs to get to live a certain lifestyle, he's going to do it. Okay, let me be clear on that. But let's get back to the main thing. We can't read your minds. You need to be straight up with us. I know y'all indirect and everything, but when it's a serious matter, be straight up with us. Be straight up. All right? And that out of a place of meanness, as uh, anything, just say, look, this is what's up. Sometimes it might have to be a tough love thing. And I've, had, I've met some women, some of the women I uh, appreciate the most. They t- they would take me to the side and say, hold up, Ron, this is an issue I see, I'm seeing. All right? You know, they weren't trying to get money out of me or anything, and I always thanked them. They say, hold up, Ron, you don't need to do this. I've had some women tell me that. I had one situation. It was this uh, young lady I was dealing with. We broke up, and she was living with this other young lady. And I left a nasty message on her phone one time. So the other woman, she, she called, she talked to me, said, hold up, Ron, come on, man. I know y'all broke up or something, but you you better than you better than this. Come on, Ron. And she told me straight up, and I thanked her. You know? Like, be straight up with a man. Be straight up. We can't read your minds and stuff. And yeah, we can pick up, yeah, some of us can pick up some little small signs. Well, you know what? On some small things, let's pick that up, and we might surprise you with something. We see you down or something, you know, you're in the doldrums. We say, hey, baby, come on now, let's go out. Let's go out or something. Let's go party or something. Pick your, pick your mood up. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But when it's some serious stuff, tell them. Or even in that situation, you're down. Have a conversation and say, look, this is what I'm feeling right now. Because part of a man, too, is to restore, is to heal. But he got to know what he's going to heal. Don't assume he he can read your mind. And like I said, I've had women act like I was supposed to be able to read their minds. I say, I can't read your mind. I can pick up on a lot, but not everything. Not everything. And that's when I was young. Like I said, older now can pick up on it better. And most of y'all, look, I know many of y'all, y'all probably in your 20s and 30s. Many of y'all in your 20s and 30s understand something. It takes a long time for a man to figure it out. You got to be straight up with him. Let him know. Let him know. Even in the bedroom, let him know. You know? Because he might surprise you. Because let me use that bedroom example. Because I know a lot of women complain, well, he ain't do this or that in the bedroom. Open your mouth. <laughs> Open your mouth and he might surprise you. He, Because he, you know what might happen. I'm going to be straight up in the bedroom. He might be all peaceful and vanilla and something and you feel like you wanted something wilder. And some women let it go, but then don't want to deal with the man. Oh, he didn't do this. He didn't do that. But if you open your mouth and say, you know what? This is what I like. This does it for me. He might be like, oh, really? Okay. Shoot. Yeah, have you meditated? Yeah, have you levitating the next time? <laughs> Shoot. You, be, you had that orgasm so good, multiple orgasms so good, you'd be on the ceiling and everything. And he'd be like... Baby, you want to come down? You, you can't even talk. You'd be like, yeah. <laughs> you just wave them off while you still floating. <laughs> Seriously, but only way he knew to take you to that level, you opened your mouth. You opened your mouth. Because let me say something about that just real quick. I know this is a little tangent, but, you know, the only guys who can just read a woman that well sexually are usually like serious players. Like multiple women. And I told you about one instance where a dude like that still had to be told by the woman, ah, oh, nah, you weren't doing it. So open your mouth, okay? Open your mouth. Anyway, ladies, that's all I got for now. I'll get back with y'all later. Peace and blessings.